What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys, here today with a quick review and demonstration over child tape model. Um, it's basically a free tape machine emulation. Um, it's got a whole bunch of different features and functionality that you can use. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, uh, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you can be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Push. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, so when you come to the website, um, it basically tells you Chow Tape is an analog tape machine physical model originally based off of Sony TC260. The current version can be used to emulate a wide variety of reel to reel tape machines. Feel free to build, use your own enjoyment uh, for your own enjoyment. Um, and so basically it was created uh, as a class project from Music 420 at Stanford University or whatever by whoever created this. Um, but the reason I brought you to this website is because when you download, um, you're going to have to hit this code button. And then after you hit the code button, you're going to hit download zip. So we'll hit the download zip button real quick. Um, and then it's going to load for you. And then so after it loads, you're just going to go ahead and show in folder pop open your folder um and then there's going to be some folders you have to go through so there's you know you hit that master folder um and then you're going to come to plug in you're going to come to bin um windows 64 or whatever you have whether it's a mac or whatever and then you can just drop this dll right into your vst folder or your steinberg folder wherever you keep it i've already done that so i'm not going to do it again um but then when you open up the plugin and you have to make sure that you uh add the plugin in whatever doll that you have um and then once you open up the plugin it's going to look like this um so you see it's got a whole bunch of different layers and stuff like that that you can use and just different stuff that you can do that's what makes this a really good tape um emulation is that it just has a lot of features and functions that you can use one thing that it did say is that um some fl studio users might experience clicks or pops and if you do that's no problem. Just come over here to that little um, cog and then troubleshooting and then just uh, hit your use filter, uh, your use size buffers, turn that on and then it'll get rid of that for you. Um, I haven't experienced any of that, but that's just something that they said that might be a problem. So I thought I might share that with you guys. Um, so I made a little beat. The beat's not all the way mixed down, but I made it for this demonstration just so that we have something to listen to as I run the tape model. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play that um, and let's go. Alright, so that's the little uh, beat I put together um, for the demonstration. We're just going to play um, all the melodic instruments um, and then I'm just going to run the tape chow motto on that. Um, if you like the drums in that beat, they're all free in my drum kit. Uh, link below on how you can get that. Uh, it's in the Discord. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll just start here with the chow tape motto. It's got a bunch of different presets that you can go through. So we'll just start with the presets and then we'll go through all of the dials and stuff like that afterwards.
All right, and so then I'm just gonna play the piano only for um, as we go through all the different dials and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything else, and then I'm just gonna hop up child tape model. All right, so then when you get into the actual um, plugin and you start messing with it, it's got a bunch of different dials. So you see it's got uh, gain, it's got your input gain, it's got your dry wet, it's got your output, and it's also got filters right here. So I'll go ahead and click on that so you guys can hear what the filters sound like. Um, and then it's also got over here in tone. Um, it's got treble, bass, and frequency, and all those affect um, your filters too. And it also affects uh, your, your tape right here. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll just turn the dials a little bit so that you can hear um, the subtle changes that it makes in your filter. So you can hear just a little bit extra with the bass and you can hear a little more high frequency filled out in that high frequency spectrum um, when you turn the treble up there. The frequency here is the point and the cutoff of where the high and the low start. Um, then you have your tape right here. Um, so your tape is your bias, your saturation, and your drive. Um, the bias gives it a little bit of distortion. Um, so we'll go ahead and we turn it down. That's how you get the distortion on there. And then if you turn the saturation and the drive up, it gives you more distortion. And then you can come over to tone and you can affect that distortion, the treble, the bass, the frequency. Um, so, you know, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to turn that off for now. Um, and then you can come over here um, to your loss. And basically, um, these are, this is the thickness of the tape. This is the space of the tape. And what this does is it takes off, it rounds off some of that high-end frequency. Um, so it gives it more of that lo-fi sound. Um, and then the speed affects that. So um, the higher the speed, the more high-end you get. The lower the speed, the more uh, high-end it's cut off. So we'll go ahead and we'll just play with this one here so you can hear it. And I'm just gonna turn these up and down so you can hear. So you can hear the lower I go, um, the more high end it's cut off. And then it's also got this degrade feature. It's basically like your bit reduction. And then it's got, um, you know, some static that you can put in there, you know, some of that white noise. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll play with that. I mean, it's got this chew. Uh, this chew is probably my favorite of all the features on here because it kind of makes it sound like tape's been chewed up a little bit. Um, so it kind of gives it um, a little worn, a little worn, you know, feel to it.
So you hear how it kind of gives it that wong 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 kind of gives it like a uh, I don't want to say a delay effect, but it just gives it like um like it's worn, you know, like a worn tape. And that's more like it's gated. I like that, you know. So then you got your wow and you got your flutter over here. Um, so we'll go ahead and play with that so you can hear it. And then your wow for you. Um, then it's also got over sampling, so it's got one times, two times, four times, eight times, and 16 times on them. Um, and then it's got this hysterious mode. Um, it's also got mixed groups, so you can assign mixed groups for the, the tape. So, I mean, it's got a whole lot of functionality for free tape emulation. Um, tell you the truth, uh, I mean, this is probably, in my opinion, it's probably the best free tape model out there, free tape emulation out there, you know, just because of everything that you can do. Um, is it worth checking out? In my personal opinion, it is. Uh, make sure if you guys got something out of this content or if you like this content that you subscribe. Drop an elbow on that like button and hit that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you'll be the next to see. Appreciate you guys' time today. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.